For this one, we're gonna start by factoring once again and looking for a GCF, which there is, of x to the fourth because all of these can be divided by x to the fourth. So let's pull that out. And what's left is x squared minus x minus two. Why? Because I divided each of these terms by x to the fourth. And if I redistribute it, you see we come back to the original trinomial. That's how we know we've done the factoring correctly. So what two numbers multiply to negative two, add to negative one, that's going to be negative two and positive one. Now we can get our zeros. So this is gonna have a zero of literally zero. That's what's gonna zero this out with a multiplicity of four. This is gonna zero out when x equals positive two, right? Two minus two is zero. And since there's an exponent of one, this is gonna have a multiplicity of one. Last but not least, this is gonna have a zero of negative one, right? Because negative one plus one is zero with a multiplicity again of one because there's an invisible one exponent in front of that binomial, boom, done.